Greetings, everyone. It's great to have you back at Archilab. In today's video, we'll delve into the art of crafting effective prompts. However, before we dive into that, let's first grasp the concept of what a prompt actually is. What is the prompt? A prompt, typically referred to as instructions, represents a command given to a computer system, which can be conveyed through written or spoken language. This holds true, for instance, in the context of text to image artificial intelligence. Let's check the prompt structure. An effective prompt should possess a high level of detail and specificity. One useful approach is to review a list of keyword categories and determine whether you wish to incorporate any of them into your prompt. Within the Automatic 1111, we can compose prompts using only 75 words, so please make sure to stick to that limit. A good prompt contains the items listed below. I'll give you all the details, so please stay with me and watch until the end. I've also added a bonus trick to make prompts easily using Excel. Now, let's discuss the subject. The subject is the primary keyword that tells the system what you want in the image. For instance, let's take the example of a skyscraper. So, skyscraper is our main keyword, but it's quite general. It doesn't specify other important details like what type of skyscraper it is, its shape, size, or where it's situated. Since stable diffusion can't read our thoughts, we need to be really clear about what we want. I suggest starting with negative prompts because they impact the outcome later on. In this demo, I'm listing some things. Blur, illustration, cartoon, overexposed, low resolution, low quality, and watermark. First, let's search for a skyscraper and see what we get as the output. Remember, I'm using these settings just for the demonstration in this video. Please keep in mind that the focus of this video is how to create effective prompts, and we're not concerned with image quality at this point. You can notice that our output only shows a skyscraper without many details. This happened because we didn't give enough information in our request. Now, let's include more information about the subject, like its size, shape, and where it's located. You can add any specific details you want. I'm going to use a description, an oval-shaped modern skyscraper that is 200 meters high, located in front of the riverfront. Let's see what the output looks like with these details. Now this looks great. Let's influence the prompt. The solution is by applying weights. You can assign weights to any aspect like text, style, or lighting. Now, let's give importance to the oval shape. Simply put brackets around it and add a value to emphasize it. I'll use a value of 0.5 to make it a focus. If you use a value, like 1.5, it will have strong focus. Now, as you can observe, we have the ability to direct the prompts. Our output is now more oval in shape, and it includes all the elements from the prompt. You can assign weights to any word and experiment with various possibilities. Let's talk about style. Style is how you create your artwork. For example, you can use illustration, oil painting, 3D rendering, or photography. The style you choose can really change how your art looks, and even one word can make a big difference. Now, let's use some words from our Archilab keyword template. I'm gonna choose Vray Render, a 3D rendering style. Let's find out how it works with this edition. As you can tell, our result looks good, and it resembles something you might get from V-Ray. Now, let's make it even more like V-Ray by giving extra importance to the keyword. I'll set the weight to 1.3 and see how the image turns out. Wow, this looks great. Now, I believe you have a good understanding of how things operate within stable diffusion. Now, let's discuss the artist or artist style. We can include the name of an architect, like Zaha Hadid or Norman Foster, or simply mention designed by Zaha Hadid. As you've noticed, our result wasn't very impressive. To improve it, let's give more importance to the architect's name.
with a weight of 0.8 and run the generation again. As you can see, we're now getting more outcomes that resemble Zaha's work. Now our result is pretty impressive. The template contains everything you need to explore countless possibilities. You can specify the resolution we desire, whether it's super realistic, lifelike rendering, or any other preference we have in mind. Additionally, we can introduce more specific settings, like camera details, from the options available in the template. Feel free to include additional details in the prompt, like specific color preferences and lighting specifications, as you experiment with it on your own. Keep in mind that each AI model is trained differently, so it's important to choose the right one for visualization, such as Dream Shaper, Realistic Vision, or Arcalab Realistic, or you can watch previous videos related to resources for AI.